Hello everyone and uh, all the students. Uh, now I am going to present the e-commerce. Today we start the unit first introduction to e-commerce and its application. So basically uh, nowadays uh, we have we see that all the uh, business transactions uh, and uh, uh, they are doing or they are going on as well as traditional commerce or in terms of e-commerce so basically e-commerce is the uh, electronic commerce uh, means the transactions uh, are completed or they are there is a some purchase sales and other transactions are through using the internet and the electronic means means of uh, electronics like computers and other instruments so basically there are different things in terms of commerce so commerce uh, e-commerce electronic commerce so first of all i want to tell you something about the commerce commerce is basically it is the uh, in terms of traditional uh, business transactions or in, uh, in traditional business activities it is known as commerce basically and uh, recording the transaction and etc and but uh, the, nowadays uh, this form is changed and it is known nowadays it is known as e-commerce or sometimes it is also known as e-business so though both are uh, the same things so there are some meanings and definitions uh, first one is uh, like this is the first sharing business information maintaining business relationship and conducting the business transaction using computers connected to a telecommunication network is called e-commerce so basically this is the uh, very important definition uh, like sharing business information first thing sharing business information when we share the information regarding the business product features quality goods price etc maintaining the business relationship so this is also used in terms of maintaining the business relationship in relations with the customers and other interested parties and conducting the business transaction using the computers and other thing is uh, business transaction conduct the business transaction we using the uh, business uh, like uh, using the computers computers connected to telecommunication network also and it is uh, uh, all the things are uh, involved in the business uh, nowadays and it is the e-commerce terms and uh, second thing is electronic commerce basically uh, yeah commonly known as the e-commerce is trading in products or services using computers networks such as internet etc so when we uh, conduct the business activities through the uh, through using of computers and internet and other things and uh, sales and purchase of goods and services uh, through the electronic uh, means so this is known as e-commerce and other thing is e-commerce draw um, e-commerce uh, basically so basically it draws the uh, on technologies such as the mobile commerce electronics funds transfer supply chain management internet marketing online transaction purchase procuring and uh, electronic data interchange means edi electronic data interchange inventory management systems and auto automated data collection system so these all activities are conducted on the electronic platform and it is also known as electronic commerce and uh, in modern terms agar hum baat kare modern electronic commerce uh, basically typically uses the www means world wide webs for uh, at least one part of the transactions life cycles and although it may also use other technologies such as emails etc so basically there are uh, various sources of electronic commerce uh, which uh, we use for conducting the business transactions so in terms of modern uh, technologies in terms of modern uh, business era so world uh, wide webs www so it basically use there are different kinds of organization different kinds of uh, sites where we 
doing uh, the business activities we conduct the business activities now uh, i am going to discuss electronic commerce categories e commerce categories basically there are three kinds of e commerce categories this is the electronic market edi internet commerce so these three things are interrelated with each other so three categories of e commerce now discuss the first thing is electronic market basically uh, you yeah, are presently a range of offering available in a market segment so that the purchase can compare the prices of the offering and make the purchase decision like uh, airline tickets booking hotel rooms bookings and other services uh, booking wagera jo hum karte hain to all these things are known as electronic market and uh, second one is uh, electronic data interchange basically edi ya jo hai electronic data interchange where which is exchange change the data interchange the data is from one person to another one system to another system so these are the some things like it provides a standard system so edi provides a standard system for uh, uh, purchase or sales on other transactions on the electronic means and second thing is coding trade transaction jo transactions hote hain unko the it provide the different codes and other thing is communicated from one computer to another without need for printed order and invoices delays and errors in prop in paper handlings तो बेसिकली हम देख रहे हैं कि इट कम्युनिकेटेड फ्रॉम वन पर्सन टू वन कंप्यूटर टू अनदर कंप्यूटर्स एंड विदाउट नीड ऑफ प्रिंटेड ऑर्डर्स देर इज नो नीड ऑफ प्रिंटेड ऑर्डर्स यू जस्ट क्लिक एंड ऑर्डर्स द गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज एंड गेट थ्रू द ई कॉमर्स कंपनीज प्रोवाइडेड एंड डिलीवर्ड टू यू एंड इट इज यूज बाय ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट दैट मेक अ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ रेगुलर ट्रांजेक्शन तो इट इज द टर्म ऑफ ए डी we use and uh, we discuss in uh, later and edi is used in large market chain uh, for transaction with their suppliers second thing is uh, third point is internet commerce basically it is used to uh, advertise and uh, make sales of wide range of goods and services तो वाइड रेज ऑफ गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज के लिए हमें जो है इंटरनेट कॉमर्स की जरूरत पड़ती है एंड इट इज यूज बाय बोथ बी टू बी बिजनेस टू बिजनेस एंड बी टू सी बिजनेस टू कंज्यूमर या कस्टमर्स एंड ट्रांजेक्शंस एंड एक्सेट्रा लाइक अगर हम बात करें परचेज ऑफ गुड्स दैट आर डिलीवर्ड बाय द पोस्ट और द बुकिंग ऑफ tickets and that can be picked up by the clients when they arrive at the events so this is the term of electronic uh, internet commerce now i am going uh, to discuss with you the e business what is e business basically e business is the applications of information and communication technology means ict uses of ict in business activities in support uh, of all the activities of business so there are the different things uh, we uh, like um, commerce uh, constitute the exchange of products and services between the businesses and groups and individuals and can be seen as one of the essential activities of any business activity so these are the different things in business activities and it is it is known as a e business activities basically e commerce focuses on the use of ict to enables the external activities and relationship of the business with individuals groups and other businessmen of the e business refers to the business with the help of internet and doing businesses with the help of the internet networks so all these things are known as the e businesses but comparing of e business and e uh, commerce and e, e business uh, we come to the subsequent conclusion like uh, what is the diff, uh, comparison and what is the relation between the e business and e commerce so e business uh, basically is uh, uh, more uh, general terms than e commerce and uh, it in in this particular uh, discussion we will only use the term e commerce uh, because of every transaction finally is involved uh, in sellings and buying of the products and services 
and uh, in terms of e-commerce uh, obviously uh, is more uh, widespread term than the e-business so that's why we can say the e-business and e-commerce uh, uh, comparison so on the basis of this comparison we can say that the e-commerce is wide uh, spread or wide spread terms in uh, than the e-businesses Finally, uh, come to the point uh, to final definition of e-commerce. Let us uh, start with the some uh, like constituent uh, activities of the attributes of the e-commerce. So basically, there are different things. Like first thing is digitalization of business. So basically, if we talk about it nowadays, the, all the business activities are digitalized and uh, in terms of digital format and digital activities like fund transfer, economically uh, or goods orders, etc. And other things, all these things are digitized, and there is a need of digital signatures as also. Focus on business process. Second thing, focus on business process only. Uh, E-commerce e e basically focus on the business processes like um, order receiving, order delivered, and uh, other things and fund transfer. The, all the things are very secure and uh, good for the all business activities and uh, for all customers and other companies also. And uses of global network. So basically, e-commerce is uses uh, use the global network and uh, it is basically usable usable for all the customers whatever you are uh, uh, exist or whatever you are living like in america france and other countries of the world but you uh, conduct the business activities at any place from all over the world and for this new opportunity uh, potentials and opportunities for cooperations so basically in terms of business uh, e-commerce agar hum baat karte hain to e-commerce is provide new potentials and opportunities for the businessman and for the consumers also so it is good for all so these are the some things like digitalization of business focus on business process uses of global networks new potentials and opportunities for cooperations etc so all these things are uh, affect the business activities and uh, nowadays uh, in terms of e-commerce so basically all four things are very important for the e-commerce now there are different other definitions of e-commerce uh, like we uh, want to discuss with you three main points of e-commerce first thing is e-commerce is the exchange of goods and services between individual independent organization and for person supported by comprehensive uses of powerful ICT systems and a globally standardized network inter infrastructures. So basically e-commerce is a platform where we exchange the goods and services between the independents and the organization and for the personal support and by using the comprehensive uses of powerful ICT tool. ICT tools basically um, information uh, terms जो हमारे हैं आपके जितने भी technologies हैं information है systems systems को हम use करते हैं तो information communication uh, technologies जो systems हैं उनको हम इसमें यहाँ पर betterly use कर सकते हैं और with the help of the ICT tools uh, we can do all the business activities throughout all over the world second thing is for this purpose the business partners have to come couples their business process and their ICT systems also. So nowadays we are seeing that the business couples and business partners are also using ICT tools and business processes to use systems ko use karte and these systems have to share exchange and process data during the whole business uh, process and across the business uh, boundaries of the countries. Uh, boundaries of the cooperative organizations also so cooperating organizations may be um, they crank it but there are different kinds of things that they shares their data they shares or exchange their process and activities and other things and share advertisement and other uses and third thing is data security it is a very important in terms of business uh, e-commerce uh, e-business or e-commerce and business security or data security so basically security and data privacy as well as the Compliances with laws and other policies and procedure have, of course, to be uh, 
guaranteed so basically uh, all these things are guaranteed and there is no difficulties to customers and other uh, business activities or other business organizations so, so there are different things which we use for the uh, organization and so on the basis of these discussion uh, finally we can say that business uh, e-commerce e-commerce basically it is an activity or it is an process uh, where we exchange the goods and services uh, through the uh, internet system or by using the ICT tools also thank you